Hi everyone, we're going to now uh, move on to adding a GSM device to the G-Web portal. Okay, so in a previous video we took the two um, GSM devices out of their boxes and now we're going to um, start bringing together some of the things we've learnt, um, starting with um, adding um, your first device onto your G-Web portal. So we'll just uh, drop that image away and we'll log into GWeb with our username and password. And you'll be greeted with a screen that's similar to this. And at the moment there are no devices in our uh, table here um, on the home page. Going into add a new device down the bottom here you will need to choose, are you adding a G-Ultra or a G-Ultra Speak? As we said previously, the G-Ultra is the switch um, version without the intercom with the green button, so that's the one at the top there. And the one that says G-Speak Ultra has the blue buttons and obviously comes with the intercom module. Um, the adding process is identical for both. Um, for this example, I'm going to add the G-Ultra. The next thing you'll see is this pop-up screen and it's going to ask you for the IMI number and the password of that device and it's going to want you to give it a name. So for my one here I'm going to go um, test unit. You might call it um, warehouse or Mr. Smith's device or uh, John's garage or whoever your customer name is uh, so that you can identify this later because as you install more and more G ultra devices, you're going to need to be able to um, quickly identify them when you come into your portal. Um, as for where you find the IMI number and the password, um, they're located on the back of the unit. If the unit's powered up, you are able to use the um, buttons to scroll through to find it. However, the easiest way before you even go and install it is to take the back off the um, mounting plate and look on the back of the unit and you'll have the IMI number and the password written there. Um, take a photo of it if you're about to install it just so you've got a record. Um, and for this one here, I'm gonna plug it in for you now quickly. Okay, and the passwords are all unique. So every device has a, a random password. Um, here we go, add. And it's going to say finished association, which means it's added that particular device to your portal. And we'll click done. Now you'll see the device has popped up here. And it's only giving a little bit of information at the moment. If you hit the refresh button on your web browser, it'll come back and it'll give you a whole lot more information. So now we've got our test unit and a random phone number has appeared there from um, test unit we'll go into okay now we're inside the test units information screen and the first thing you're going to want to do is to add the phone number that you're going to install inside that unit so on the sim card that you receive for that pro uh, from your phone provider you're going to want to um, take note of what the phone number is in New Zealand we start off with 64 we drop the leading zero. All the mobiles start with 021, 027, 029, that kind of thing. Um, you don't put the zero in. You just go 21 and the rest of the phone number. I'm going to put in a dummy number for this one. However, it's very important you put the correct number in so that the G Web can start talking to uh, your device in the field. Hey everyone, thanks so much for taking the time to watch that video. I hope it was helpful. If you still have questions, please feel free to get in touch through our website, arrow.net.nz. Um, if uh, you're watching this on YouTube and you want to see more content like this, uh, please remember to hit subscribe and uh, hit the bell notification so that YouTube can let you know when we post new videos. Also, if you can uh, give us a thumbs up if it was good, that'd be great. I hope you have a good day and uh, we'll see you in the next one.